Today, let's go over browsers. Thank you, Bruno, for this tweet. Which is better, Opera versus Brave versus Vivaldi? Uh, three browsers. And guess what? One of them, I'm going to make fun of you if you use, because it is absolutely atrocious. But let's get into this as I have some roasting to do, and two of these I actually do enjoy using, and I'm going to go over each one. This video is brought to you by Pluralsight. I've used them to learn Citrix Zen app, Windows Server, and Linux administration. Click the link in the description and learn your skill today. All right, let's start out with the fun stuff. What is the crappiest browser you possibly could do? And that is Opera. Opera is absolutely horrible. I will make fun of you and ridicule you if you use Opera, uh, at least, after this video. Now, you may just not know some of this stuff, so let's go over the bad of Opera. Opera was originally founded by one of the other browsers on this list called Vivaldi, which is pretty good. And Opera was a good browser, but it was acquired by a Chinese company. And uh, yeah, let's just say things have gotten a lot dicier since then. There's a lot of things on here that just give me pause. There's two main things I want to talk about when it comes to Opera, and that is simply how they make money, which most of the revenue comes from short-term loans. Yeah, yeah, they're a web browser that makes most of their money through people signing up through their sponsored short-term loan service. WTF. Okay, so, so where do they make the rest of the money? And <laughs> Well, it's from selling your data. And it is just so bonkers to me how people use this browser. Uh, just knowing those facts right out of the gate, if that's not enough to scare you away, I don't know what is, but let's go over some of the features. Feature number one is their free VPN. Oh, so much wrong with this. Oh my God. So free VPN. It is not really encrypted. It's not a true VPN. It only go covers browser br traffic. And also it's slow as molasses. You know, most people report speeds of like eight down, like one up maybe. <laughs> and then also on top of that, it's not no log. So they're even selling your data from using the VPN. Wait, what the hell are you using it for again? I mean, wh what's the point of this VPN service? Is it just to browse slower so you can be traced to sell your data? I, I don't get it. So Opera people, free VPN, I've covered that before. Don't use free VPNs. Use any other VPN. Honestly, you should even use whatever, anything else. I mean, just no. Uh, if you need a VPN recommendation, there's one down there. I like ExpressVPN as they're really, really fast. And uh, if that's not your speed, I like to give you a choice. Molvad or ProtonVPN, also good options. So there's three VPNs for you. Any one of them would be light years ahead of Opera's free VPN. Don't, just don't, no, bad idea. So there's enough on this list that makes me go, there's no way you should ever use Opera. Uh, now, Opera has been innovative back in the past. What happened with all that? Well, one of their co-founders actually spun up Vivaldi, which if you've watched many of my other videos, I use extensively. Vivaldi is a great browser. It reminds me of kind of like the opera of old and it is fantastic. It's great. I love it. Uh, here is the desktop. I'll go ahead and showcase some of the features of Vivaldi. So if you're an opera user today, by all means, stop using it. Switch to Vivaldi. It's a better experience and it's just simply faster and more secure and more private. And they're not going to try and sell you some type of short term loan or sell your user data. That's just crazy to me. So let's go over Vivaldi. As many people seen in my videos, I use Vivaldi all the time, everywhere. And really, it boils down to a couple of really cool features. First, I can do like special web panels and things. So if there's specific things I need to grab to, like let's say, oh crap, something's wrong with my audio. I can pip, pick this up and remote into my Soundcraft right here. It's already going. I can see exactly what's going on with my mic. I can adjust my volume on the fly. I can play some music, whatever it might be. Do it right there, click it, and then I'm back to wherever I was. That's awesome. There's also the normal Chrome stuff like pinning tabs, my Chromium-based bookmarks, and also 
Chromium based uh, applications up here that I absolutely love. So that's for it being Chromium based. I really do love uh, some of the extra features, but the thing that really sells it to me is why I use it as a daily driver is mainly because of its sync capabilities. Vivaldi has a fantastic sync capability and they've just done such a great job. Uh, I just finished roasting opera, but their co-founder actually came over to and, and made Vivaldi because of all the shenanigans that were going on with opera. And he's done a great job. He took what was already there and just made it a lot better. So uh, for any opera rep refugees, obviously Vivaldi is a great option. It has this, it's just great. I love a lot of its uh, bookmarking capabilities. Everything's pretty much the same as all the other browsers that I've talked about. But uh, again, the thing that really kind of pushes it ahead for me is just some of how it arranges the tabs and web panels and also uh, just general sync capabilities as I use anywhere between four and five computers uh, on a daily basis. And that's a lot of computers and having everything synced up to date, you know, it, it makes a big difference for me. So I absolutely love Vivaldi. So with that said, let's move on to the next on the list. And my runner up will be Brave. Now Brave is my runner up because of really one thing. It's more minimalistic than Vivaldi. Vivaldi is kind of like the Swiss army knife of browsers. You can do a ton of stuff in it, which is great. Um, and why I love Brave is it's just so sleek and modern and there's just not a whole bunch of stuff everywhere. So if you're not really big into just massive amounts of features everywhere, I think Brave's what you go with for minimal stuff. Now, there's other cool things about Brave. Some people, you know, knock it for its cryptocurrency ties, but I actually think this is a great thing as I get about $20 a month from Brave users. So how that works is, let's say you go to christitis.com, you click here, you can actually tip me and actually give me Brave currency and that Brave currency will get auto deposited into a wallet that maybe once every three to six months I'll jump into and export out to a bank account. So that ends up being about a hundred bucks that I normally wouldn't get about twice a year. So that's kind of cool. Um, but at the same time, you know, you can do this from the actual website or my YouTube channel directly on there. If you're a brave user, you could click it and do the same thing. So now one thing I will touch on on brave before I let you go is it does have a sync. And this is one thing I kind of knock brave for. So it's one thing that uh, reason why I use Vivaldi over Brave, even though I don't like the aesthetics of Vivaldi as much as I do of Brave, the syncing is just not as good. So uh, if you're using multiple computers, multiple devices, I find that Vivaldi has just a step up from that. And while I recommend Brave for those minimalists out there, I really, really like a Vivaldi just for its syncing capabilities, but I thought I'd touch on this as I thought it was kind of a low spot. Uh, occasionally I jump back in just to see how it's doing, but, uh, overall, um, I don't like this aspect of brave, but you know, it just depends on what computer you're on and how you operate. If you're a single PC user, you're always browsing the internet on the same device and you don't really care about device to device sync. Well, I say brave's a great option if you want more of a minimal design. And, uh, I kind of like this little start screen they have where it's just a pretty picture not a whole bunch of junk cluttering things up. So I, I miss this aspect of Brave. But uh, overall, I don't think you could go wrong with either Brave or Vivaldi. So those were the three browsers that uh, was asked of me by Bruno. Thank you, Bruno, for the question on Twitter. As I absolutely had fun with this video because I didn't realize people were still considering Opera as a browser as I consider it just a horrible choice. As far as Brave and Vivaldi, again, it depends on your personal preference as I love both those browsers. Honestly, there's nothing wrong with them. Uh, but with all that said, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. Uh, this is a fun one as, you know, as long as you're not saying Google Chrome or something crazy like that, you'll be fine. I mean, Firefox is also a really good option as it's just a whole different breed of browsers. But in these Chromium based browsers, I really think really you choosing between Brave and Vivaldi as I think uh, they're probably the cream of the crop when it comes to Chromium based browsers. But with all that said, I will see you in the next one.